Welcome to a new episode of my Home Automation and Node-RED playlist. This time I'm talking about my yet most proud creation, which is called the Node-RED metric or NR metric for short. This is a NeoPixel display driven by an ASP8266 board controlled by Node-RED. You might have heard about LaMetric, which was my first inspiration. I remember seeing the review in Tecmo's channel and also seeing it in every one of his videos showing his subscriber count. I also wanted something similar, but not really willing to pay the money for a LaMetric. I also wanted it to suit my needs, displaying exactly when I want and when I want it. And to be fair, LaMetric can probably do all this, but where is the fun of buying something that works out of the box? I put this idea to the side as I thought building a display would be too complicated until I have seen the ESP metric on Hackaday. That's when I started working. What I wanted is a Lametric type icon and short text display, a set of screens that change one after the other, short pieces of information that can be understood quickly, a relatively dumb display which only responsible for displaying the data and not containing any data collection logic. The collection of the data, rules, what should be displayed has to be implemented in Node-RED. In Node-RED, wanted the ability to define data sources that become pages on the display. Each data source would define its own icon, text, and the color of the text. Ability to define the sequence of these pages, which can be different in a morning, afternoon, weekday, or a weekend. As I said, ESP metric given me the inspiration for many things. First and most important, that it is very easy to create a display with NeoPixel display. They are readily available, easy to drive them with the Adafruit NeoPixel library. The NeoPixel display used is the same WBS 2812B individually addressable LEDs that are used in many other products. Therefore, there are plenty of examples out there. And it just needs to be wired directly to the ESP. I am using an 8x32 matrix, which is a bit smaller than La Metric. Lametric has an 8x RGB matrix on the left for the icons and a 27x8 white space for the text. So it has a more real estate to print the information on, but mine has a fully RGB display, which has some potential to deliver more information. The 24x8 pixels left for the text is just enough for six numbers using the 3x8 font. Once this was sorted, the real challenge started. This is a project in which my Arduino skills were put to the test. I took many different tries to get this done and I finally settled uh, with a solution which works, but probably not the, the best. The solution in summary is the following. In Node-RED, I define providers, which can be anything from a public API, like a weather forecast or Google Maps API, or my solar system statistics or exchange rates from my bank's homepage. The provider has an icon and a text and the color of the text. As I said, I can fit six digits or five digits with a decimal place. The three by eight font I'm using also supports text, which is a little bit hard to read, but I think it works fine. The text color is not used much, but for temperature, the below freezing temperatures are shown in blue, the others in white. Stock prices are either green or red, depending on whether they are moving up and down. The icon is an 8x8 RGB graphics. In most cases it's a fixed image, but in some cases it also varies based on the content. For example, I have a screen which shows the chance of rain and the icon reflects the type of precipitation, which can be rain, snow or sleet. Or the current temperature has an icon that matches the current condition, for example, sunny, cloudy, windy. Uh, in the picture you can see the second screen from the top, which is showing a minus 3.4 C which is in blue because it's below the freezing temperature and the icon for it represents fog. The providers each have their own update routine. For example, the weather forecast is updated hourly. The travel times for Google also hourly, except in the morning and the afternoon rush hour when it is every 10 minutes. These values are stored in Node-RED and sent to the display on request. A separate logic determines which providers are shown on the display, in which sequence and how long each page lasts. For the time being, I set them all to 5 seconds, which may be a little bit too fast, but it works for me. The page sequence can also be configured. 
For example, in the morning, I limit the information to weather forecast and travel time. During the day, I don't need the travel time, so I show stock information and some of the solar statistics. In the evening, the weather forecast comes back, but then it shows the weather forecast for the following day. When the display boots up, it gets the current time from the NTP server and displays uh, the time in a large font full screen. When the time is displayed, it requests an update from Node-RED. Node-RED sends across all the pages to be displayed. After that, the page cycle starts and when it reaches the last page, it displays the time again and the cycle, cycle starts from the beginning. There are no buttons on the display, the page cycle happens automatically. I wanted it to be a standalone display with no physical interaction. Therefore, I boxed mine as a picture and then placed it on the wall. There is a photoresistor connected to the analog input pin of the ESP, so it adjusts the brightness of the display according to the ambient light. I wanted to make sure that the communication between Node-RED and the display is quick and controlled. I wanted to make sure that there is no communication during page transitions, so the page transition is always smooth. I noticed that the MQTT messages can be delayed to the ESP. I also tried using UDP messaging, but I didn't find it reliable enough. I suspect that the WebSocket communication would be ideal, but I was not able to create a working ESP code. The communication between the display and the Node-RED is the following. Once the page showing the current time transitions in, the ESP sends its own IP address via MQTT to an update request topic. Node-RED is subscribed to this topic. After the message is received, it starts sending out the series of HTTP requests to the display, which looks like this. The HTTP colon slash slash the IP of the ESP slash update question mark ID equals, uh, let's say zero and graphics uh, equals five and color equals five and duration equals 10 and text equals, uh, let's say minus 3.4 C for degrees. The ID is the page ID starting from zero. It's just an internal ID. The graphics is the index of the icon, which is again um, an index of an array starting from zero. Color is again an index of the color, which is defined uh, in the Arduino code. The duration is the page duration in seconds. And the text, well, that's the text that needs to be displayed. As I said, the icons, the colors uh, are all defined in the Arduino code. The HTTP request message is repeated for every single screen. Finally, an HTTP slash slash IP slash update question mark max page equals four request is sent out, which indicates what's the last page that needs to be displayed. The clock is shown for 10 seconds. This update usually finishes in a fraction of a second, but it will definitely complete in 10 seconds. After that, the page cycle will start and show the information transferred. The Node-RED part is designed in a way that it is easy to add more providers and also supports multiple screens, each showing different information. I have this display functioning over a month and I love it. Seeing the weather forecast, the travel time is really useful, but it's also fascinating for me to see my YouTube subscriber count going up. If you are interested, I'm planning to release three more videos on NR metric. One will be on the Node-RED flow, and another one will be on the Arduino code, and finally there will be one on the physical build. This physical build video is probably going to be the last, as I'm planning to build a second display for myself, so I will use that to film the building and the assembly of that uh, for the final video. If I don't forget to link these videos, you should see the cards to them appearing now. Thanks for watching the introduction video of my NR metric display project. If you like this, stay tuned for the follow-up videos. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next videos.